Hey guys, welcome to Kilvu YouTuber channel. I'm James, a support engineer from Kilvu. During live streaming, we often need to overlay logo image and test through special software. But with Kilvu Encoder, we directly realize this function in one go. So today, I will show you the powerful image and test overlay function of our encoder E1. For the sake of our presentation, the left side of our screen is the encoder's management page. The RTSP stream pulled by VLC from the encoder. It will be used to preview the final overlay. Now let's demonstrate the process of image overlay. Click on Test Image Time Overlay. Overlay picture, you need to upload the pictures to the encoder first. Uh, we click Image Management. Choose an image file. We can use the icon on the desktop as the image we need. Take a VLC as example. Take a screenshot of it. And save it. Back on page where we upload the overlay image. Select the image we just saved. Give it a name. To test and click Add. After uploading, we can see it in the image list. This means it can be used. Choose overlay setting if you open both the main stream and the sub stream. You can choose either one or both of them to overlay. For the sake of a demonstration, I choose to overlay the main stream. Add overlay item. Choose an image for overlay tape. In the display condition, you can choose always display, has video input, no video input. If we want the stream to cover the logo, the choice is simple. A select always or has video input. No video input. This is a minorly to mark the issue from the encoder video sources to be more clear. For example, encoders usually encounter blue screen when they lose the video access. Sometimes it can be a bit confusing because you don't know if it is a special effect for switching sense or start a new screen with a blue background. So we can also set a no video input to find access issues more properly. The next option is position. There are many preset location information. A top left, a top center, a top right, even cast. Filling the Kirosubin the pixels. This will meet most of our needs. Select an image. We can select an image by clicking on the empty box behind it. The bigger the image you upload, the more options you have here. Uh, click OK to save the setting. Set after enable the overlay for this streaming. To activate it next to this here is a do not rotor flow pictures. If the stream is set to rotor in video processing, here you can choose whether the overlay content wrote with the stream. Click set to save and take effect. We can see that the logo has been successfully overlaid in the VLC windows. 
but we can see that the picture is relatively small and the picture has a blue background color difference. We can make some tweak on image management. Here you can see the overlay size is 18.6 and 102. Uh, click Covenant to increase the pixels. You can even double it. For example, set 116. and 200. Change the blue color difference to transpire in the transpire color and this. Click to pick colors. Click on the blue area of its background. And the pixel coordinates of your choice will be displayed. Close it when the selection is done. The transfer process model is not much different. Set your tolerance to control the selection of similar color ranges. The higher the number, the more transfer the color similar to the color. Click OK to apply our setting. We can see in the VLC window that the logo is enlarged and the background color disappeared. Now we have completed a simple image processing. In addition to image, we can also overlay text. Compare with picture, the font and its color, size, cell, line spacing are increased. After selecting all the tests, we enter the test information we want to overlay. Click OK again to apply it. Then we can preview its effect in VLC. Alright, that's how we do overlay in E1. Let me know if you have any questions. See you next time.